Whoa, they can't see this shit. They can't see this shit. <laughs> Trying to catch me watching Batwoman the first episode. So, Batwoman, you guys can't see it yet. You guys not allowed to see this yet. But, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you my thoughts on Batwoman. Let's, let's go to the main set. Let's do it. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is MBDC, back with another video for you guys here today. And if you guys don't know who I am, I'm MBDC. I do DC reviews, breakdowns, and theory videos. So if you haven't already, be subscribed to catch more videos like this one you're watching right now. And today we're talking about Batwoman, new series for the CW. Batwoman's been shooting for a while. They released a couple trailers. There was a, some controversy surrounding it. But at Comic-Con this year, they screened the first episode for a few select individuals. Well, this select individual, MBDC, was not there at Comic-Con this year, but I did get a chance to watch that episode. It was sent to me. I got a chance to watch that episode, and this is my thoughts, review-ish, kind of. No spoilers, obviously, because none of you got a chance to watch the show yet, so obviously there's going to be no spoilers for that episode, but getting into the episode. So I thought it was a really compelling first episode. Now, the episode mainly focused on Kate Kane, Batwoman, obviously, and her dad, Jacob Kane. Those two characters, they were like the main meat and potatoes of the show. They got most of the screen time. Sophie, her love interest, got a little bit of screen time. Her stepmom, I think her name's Catherine, and then her stepsister, can't remember her name now. It's on like top of my head, but got a little bit of screen time. I didn't see enough of them to develop an opinion about them as of yet. They were all right, but the main crux of it was you got a little bit of Luke Fox, which I did like Luke Fox. I, I like I like Luke Fox. I'm, I'm big. Big Luke Fox fan, so <laughs> I did like him in this episode. Kate Kane, she was she was great. I mean, if you guys watched the crossover, you guys already got a little taste of how she's gonna be. She was great. She was awesome in the role. You didn't see her fully suited up in like the full Batwoman costume with the red bat symbol on the chest. She had like the repurposed Batman costume. So I don't know if we're gonna see the events leading up to the crossover because obviously this is this predates the crossover. This is her becoming Batwoman and discovering the Batcave and the Batsuit and all that stuff. And Luke Fox repurposing that Batsuit for her. But yeah, all in all, I thought it was, I thought it was a decent episode. I thought it was a strong start. It made me want to see more. Alice, we got a little bit of Alice. Little bit of Alice from, sounds kind of weird, but she's head of the Wonderland gang and she becomes more maniacal as the episode goes on and i'm just curious to see where they're going to take her character if she's going to be a one season villain or if they're going to build her and get a little bit more depth and take her on to a season two if there's a season two obviously but yeah it was like i said it man it was a it was a solid episode it definitely wanted like it made you want to see more if you like any kind of batman lore batman easter eggs and stuff like that old school batman stuff you will like this series i do think so they had a lot of easter eggs hidden throughout this episode if you're like like i said if you're batman fans you will spot them and you'll be like ah you're like good one good one so yeah um oh i mean i guess i could say this is not a spoiler ish but there is a version of bruce wayne ish in the episode i'm not gonna that's all i'm gonna say about it but if you guys are curious they're not just gonna gloss over bruce wayne i don't believe so so take that for what you will i'll wait till you guys see it and then you guys let me know what you think about it but you know all, solid i will say solid i want to see more can't wait till it premieres this october can't wait to see more batwoman let me know what you guys think of Batwoman down below. Let me know how you guys feel about the, the series in general. Just let me know your various thoughts on, what's her name? Ruby Rose as Batwoman, I guess. What's, her name is Ruby Rose, right? Yeah, yeah. Ruby Rose is Batwoman, I guess. Let me know how you guys feel about her. An Australian playing an American. I, that, that's one thing I do. I, I think they should have just had her be Australian and use her normal accent that's one thing i it did kind of jump out at me a little bit in at bits during the episode but yeah it is what it is i mean you, i'll get used to it as i watch her more and hear her more but yeah all in all let me know what you guys think of batwoman you can't let me know what you think of the episode because you guys haven't saw it yet but yeah this is mbdc i will definitely catch you guys in the next one i mean i want to say more about it that's why i haven't ended the video yet because i definitely want to say more about that like, I, I want it to be like one of my regular reviews, but I have to remember that I have to keep it spoiler free. I can't say too much about it. So, I'm in the video right there. This is it. Peace, I, I guess. Peace. Peace. See you guys in the next one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, go ahead and cut the camera. We up.